The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Continue down on the field. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside junior wide receiver Cade Meeks. Cade, a, a tough one today uh, against Emory and Henry. Offense moved the ball well at times, but ultimately the tale of today's tape comes down uh, to turnovers. Four of them on the day, a season high. Against, let's be fair, e &H does it better than anybody else in the, the country with Emporia State uh, enforcing turnovers. Uh, what happened today in, in your estimation? Uh, really, it just comes with a lack of focus. Um, they, they, it's, they're a good team. Uh, they played very well today. Uh, they had some stuff that uh, they came out with that we kind of weren't expecting. We had a game plan on the spot. Um, and really, they, just, they played very well, but honestly, it was just a lack of focus um, on our end. In this kind of offense, it takes a tremendous amount of focus. Um, so that's it was, we were just beating ourselves there. I think it's interesting. Uh, you know, the four turnovers today, you think about triple option football, it's easy to lay the ball on the ground. These weren't triple option turnovers. It was a strip sack, a uh, helmet to, to hat, and then the two picks, I think credit E&H a little bit. They were both uh, athletic plays. The one backbreaker is the one where Carson Newman's driving. It's a ball into the end zone, bound for you until uh, Chindrick Can jumps in front of it at the last possible moment, break down what happened. Uh, on that play, um, I mean, I'm, I've always, I always can make a better like move, just like a rocker step or something, just to get them kind of delayed behind me. Um, me and me and Trey already talked about it, and I, I mean, Trey, Trey knows what uh, like he did wrong, I know what I did wrong, and I can say that on here because me and him are close, and he can take it too. Uh, it's just really like that's just kind of a lack of focus type thing. I, I should have came back to the ball a little bit more. Um, Trey may have should have zipped it in there a little bit more. But that's just some things that uh, we know that we can work on. We can take the criticism on it, um, and we'll, we'll fix that going into next week. I guess the good thing is uh, you're still in the car. There is still a chance that you can play for a South Atlantic Conference championship uh, and be the Mountain Division champion. But, uh, one, you, you still need to win out. Right. Uh, and, two, you need help from either Mars Hill or UVA Wise uh, these next two weeks. Uh, what's the attitude, the mentality approach? You're back for, to the Banks of Mossy Creek next weekend for homecoming against Anderson. Uh, that's first, and then a rivalry matchup with Tusculum later. What's the approach need to be these last two weeks of divisional play? Well, um, these two games are obviously super important. Um, uh, any, anybody in this conference can beat anybody. Uh, so tonight, I mean, let all the emotions that come with a loss, especially one like this, let them come out, let them get out of the way, just get it out of the way, and then Sunday, and then Monday when it, we go back to the facilities, we just got to be new people. We got to be back into our mindset that we're determined to win the conference. And if it doesn't come our way, um, we just keep playing, just keep doing our own thing. But tonight's just the night that we can't let these emotions roll into tomorrow and then Monday and roll into the next game because if that happens, we're going to get beat. All right, Kate, thanks for the time. All right, thank you. That is junior wide receiver Cade Meeks.